Welcome to Foffer AI, the channel where we explore the world of artificial intelligence and its latest tools and techniques. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the ControlNet extension for stable diffusion when you're running the automatic 1111 uh, UI. I'm going to assume that you've already got that running and you don't need instructions on how to do that. Personally, I'm using stable diffusion through a Google Colab so that I can generate my images uh, a bit faster. To install the Controller extension, you need to go to the extensions tab and you need to go to available and you need to load all of the available extensions from this URL. Once loaded, you get a list of all of the extensions that are available and here you will find the control net extension and you'll click install. So I've already installed the extension. It's called SD Web UI control net. So you'd find that in this list and then you click install. Just as a note, once you've got it installed, you can click check for updates. Uh, this is a, an extension that's being updated pretty frequently. So I recommend doing this occasionally just to double check that you've got the latest version, newer versions, add new features, for example, being able to use multiple control nets at once. Then if your extensions are out of date, it will show that they're behind. You can click apply and restart UI to update each of those extensions. This is the GitHub repository for the control net extension that we're using. It has some instructions on how to install. So open the extensions, install from URL. This is what we did. Once you've downloaded the extension, you need to get the control net models and put them into the right directory before you can run them. So you can download these pre-trained models from Hugging Face. So these are the original control net models. Each of them is about 5.7 gigabytes and you can see each of the different model types. These are large files and they're also pickle files. So I would recommend downloading the smaller extracted versions of these models, which are about 700 megabytes and the safe tensor versions. So they are safe to use. So this is where you can download the safe tensor versions of the control net modules. Each of these is 700 megabytes. Um, so I've downloaded from this one through to this one. Now you need to make sure you save these models in the right directory. When I started, I put the models into the stable diffusion folder, which is where I've been putting most of my models, but that's not the right place for control net. To find the right directory, you need to go to the extensions directory that is part of automatic 1111. Within that, you should already find your SD web UI control net folder, which will have been put there when you installed the extension. And inside of that, there's a models directory. That's where you need to put all of your control net models that you've downloaded from Hugging Face. Now, if we go back to our stable diffusion web UI and our extension is installed, if we're on the text to image tab, there will now be a control net section at the bottom. So by default, you just have a single control net when you install it. So you can open this section and this is where you control control net. The first thing to do if you want to start using control net is to enable this module. So you need to click enable. If you don't do this, then control net will not be guiding the diffusion process. Then we need to pick our preprocessor. So our preprocessor is what takes the image that we've put in this section and processes it into the correct format for the model to interpret. So let's say canny, which is a form of ed detection. And then we can choose the model that goes with it. So control canny. You can mix and match these. So you could take something that's pre-processed with Scribble and put it through the canny model for interesting and strange results. So let's pick an image for our control net. I've chosen this mid journey generation of a prince and princess. Let's try a prompt where we turn them into a cyberpunk couple. I'll say 50 steps. I'm going to go to my favorite sampling method and 
our width that we're going to go for is 912 for a 169 aspect ratio. We've got our control net, it's enabled. We're going to use canny edge detection. We're not going to change any of these settings and we don't need to use any of those buttons. So control net is there, it's enabled. We've got our prompt, we've got our sampling, we've got our width and height set correctly, we've got our sampling methods set correctly. Let's generate our image. And this is our image output. We can first look at the pre-processed image. So this is the result of taking this image and putting it through the pre-processor with the canny model, and we can see all of the edges that it's detected. This is then what guides the diffusion process with the prompt. So our prompt was painting of a cyberpunk couple, and this is the result. You can see it's very similar to the original, and we've still got those sort of pink circles and the crown and the pose. So you can see how using control net, you can really maintain aspects of your original image. If you want to know more about what each of these pre-processes and models does, uh, check out my previous video in which I go into quite a lot of depth about each of them and what they're good for and doing some comparisons of image generations using those models. One more thing to show you, um, when you install ControlNet, you start with just the one uh, ControlNet. If you want to add multiples, you go to settings and you find the settings for control net and there's this setting here multi control net max models amount and I've whacked this all the way up to 10 um, but you can set it anywhere between 1 and 10 uh, and that's what allows you to then run multiple control nets alongside each other and you can pass in the same image or different images you can use the same models different models the more models you use, the slower it's going to take to generate your image, but the more interesting the results. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that really useful and you can now use ControlNet. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks very much.